Let's get this started. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Regina for those of you who don't know me and for this video, I'm so excited. As always, I'm always super excited about making videos. It makes me very happy. But I just got this today. Oh my god. I'm so happy about this. This is a Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. Before anything, I want to say something. I obviously haven't opened it. But, um, I wanted to say that I bought this because there was some interaction between me and BH Cosmetics through Twitter. And I just wanted to say that because I don't want people to think like, oh, this was sent to you. Obviously, it wasn't. Like, why would they? But I bought this. I just thought I would say that. I'm so excited. I'm actually, like, super excited because I've always wanted a color. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. Super pretty. If you guys know, I wanted to buy the Morphe 35B palette for the longest time, but then I saw this one and I was like, Morphe 35B who? And yeah. I know that there's like, they're very little, but I think that the color range is super. Oh my god, no! Oh, this blue is like chipped off. Can you guys see that? Can I? There's like sprinkles of that. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm honestly so sad. I was so excited. The shade range, it's obviously like super colorful, like pinks, reds, oranges. It's literally a rainbow, and I find that super cool, but it also has like, this is a very green white, a very kind of beige white. I think that's all I'm gonna do. But as you can see, they're okay pigmented. So as always, I'm gonna prime with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because it is amazing. I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Pearless Powder, um, just to like set that. I'm gonna go in first with, I think this yellow right here. Okay. Is it me or is it not showing up on my skin? Okay, it is showing up, but very, very lightly. I'm gonna mix it in with this yellow down here to brighten things up, I guess, and see how that works out. Oh yeah, way better. Way, way better. But it is pretty pigmented, which is good. But I think that that first shade that I mentioned alone does not work as well as it does with that other yellow shade that I got. I think it kind of gives an undertone because I don't know if it's my skin color or that's making everything kind of look this way, but it kind of looks a bit dark, like very mustard yellow, and I don't know how to feel about that. And it's obviously the darker yellow because I just put the yellow alone, the very bright yellow. I am now going to go ahead and grab this um, what, orange. This orange shade right here. There is literally no fallout. And I guess that's pretty big right now because of the Anastasia subculture. Um, they, they blend pretty. Very, very pretty. But I just think the eyeshadows are kind of chalky. And I don't know how I exactly feel about that. I'm gonna go ahead with a darker that one and like just darken everything up like the tiniest bit so i think now i'm just gonna grab the red and put it in the like center um the red is not very pigmented and i think it's not as easy to work with as the other shadows so I think I'm just gonna like pack it in there and like blend it out in a bit with the rest. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the yellow and like try and blend everything 
from the outer corner and then blend with the orange. Oh my god, this falling out more from an, the like that blue shade that I meant. I don't know what's going on. Am I sad about this purchase? No. Would I buy it again? I don't know. I think I just need to work with more shades and see. But until now, the pigmentation is okay. The shadows work pretty well. They pick up on the brush beautifully. And yeah, I think it's good. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera. And I'll be back when I do the rest of my eyes. Now that I did the rest of my face, I'm going to go ahead back into the palette. And I'm gonna grab. What should I do first? Okay, I'm gonna grab the yellow first. I think that this is a better yellow than this one. On those opinions, I think the yellow it's whatever. I'm gonna grab the oranges now and red, which doesn't show up. Yeah, I think my least favorite shade has got to be the red. Right now. I don't know. There's like this shimmery um, white, as I mentioned before. It's kind of beige. So I'm going to grab it with my finger. And... Eh. Okay, so overall thoughts. Um, I think that the pigmentation is okay. It's not the best that I have seen. But it is pretty good for um for this palette i am kind of pressed about this shadow i am everything is amazing i think that there's no there's no fallout which is amazing for a palette which has pigmentation um the red is not exactly the best shade but it does show up pretty good the yellow is you know i think that um, once I start working with, the, with a lot of the other colors, everything will be better. But it has happened to me with other palettes, for example, the Kylie Cosmetics palette, that it did not blend at all on the first try. And then out of nowhere, like on my third, fourth try on it, it just put it out very nicely and it like the pigment was amazing. I think it's amazing for the price and what you get. I, I just... I love it right now, honestly. BH Cosmetics, I think it's great. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I am in love with this look. I always wanted to do a sunset makeup look on me. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Can I get it like that, that, that? Let me know. Cause I really like that, that, that when you go. And I know it's not real.